Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. And in today's video, I have some absolute knowledge bombs to drop on you. This is gonna help you craft amazing output using the AI for obscure topics. That's one of the most difficult things with the AI. Any AI can write about how to plant the flower, but how do you perform a Seoi Nage throw in judo? That's a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a tool called Phrase. Now, some of these concepts that I'm gonna teach you today work in different AI tools, but a lot of them only work in Phrase, and it's this is gonna be pretty mind-blowing for you. I can't wait to share it with you. And I don't have, I don't have neon lights. I don't have cool transitions in my video. But what I don't have, I hope that I make up for with value. I hope this video provides you a lot of value, and I think it really will. So let's dive in. What I'm gonna show you came about because of a question in the, the Phrase Facebook group. Question was, how can I get the AI to learn? And then write about what's like on a particular page, write about that particular topic. Now, that, that question's a little bit deeper, I believe. I think what he was really getting at was, I'm writing about an obscure topic. My topic is not how to plant a garden or how to wash a dog. It's more complex than that. It's more nuanced than that. It's like how to take apart a, a Ford F-150 engine. It's very complicated. How do I use the AI to write about that? And that's a very valid question. How can you get the AI to do that? Because most AIs are not trained on that kind of stuff. The AIs are usually trained on scientific papers, 20% of the internet, and then some other things here or there, like maybe some of Wikipedia. They're not trained on these very nuanced, specific things. Let me show you how we can work around that and get the AI to give us some amazing output. So the first thing you wanna do, and this applies to any AI tool out there, and no one does it. No one does what I'm about to show you. The first thing you need to do for these obscure topics is find out what in the world the AI knows about. The AI has knowledge, but it's not infinite. So we gotta find out what the AI knows. Now in Phrase, I'm gonna show you how to do that. In Phrase, you click AI Write and you click Community. And there's a template in here called Answer the Question. And this is the magical template that will help you figure out what in the world the AI knows. Let me show you how to use it. So we're gonna put a context in. So here we have Judo. All right, and here's the question. Actually, let's ask what is a Seoi Nage throw? And we'll run that template right here. Now, what I'd like to do is run it about three times. Okay, so here's the three generations. I pasted them in. And then what I'd also probably do is vary up the question. So how to perform this particular throw. So these generations are about what is this throw? And then we're gonna generate how to perform this particular throw. Okay, so I have three generations on how to perform. So we have how to perform it, and then what is it? Now, I'm not a judo expert. <laughs> I don't even know judo. I like watching judo movies, though. Here is this particular throw, and it's actually pronounced seo e nage I worked on my pronunciation before the video. Basically, this is you. You grab the opponent by the wrist, and you throw him over your back, and he's gonna land on his back. I don't know if you, I'm assuming you lift up also, so maybe you get a hold of him, you put him on your back, you stand up and then slam him down on the mat on his back. Pretty simple to understand. And then I went to Google and I Googled it. It's, it's a one-arm shoulder throw, it consists of grasping one of the opponent's arms, spinning around to place your back against him. So I guess you're forward facing, you grab his wrist, you spin around, and then throwing him to the floor over your shoulder. That's pretty cool. Looking at some of these though, I don't know if they're correct. Throwing your opponent onto his back, it's a powerful move. You stand behind your opponent, grab him around the waist, lift him off the floor, rotate him 180 degrees. So this isn't exactly correct. It's saying some things that, that sound right, but some things that aren't right. So we can tell that the AI doesn't really know about this particular topic very well. It knows some things, but it's not enough to craft a coherent like step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So that's the first thing, figure out what the AI knows very important to do for these obscure topics. Now the next thing is to seed the AI with some background knowledge. So we get out of this template and we go back to AI tools. So we're in the AI right section, AI tools, very first template up here called Freeform AI Writer. Whenever you press this write for me button and have the AI write, it's gonna use the background that you supply in here. Now none of these templates, none of the, the templates 
use the background that you supplied. Only the inline right for me, okay? So if we're gonna use the inline right for me, if that's in phrases of the toolbox, there's lots of different ways to, to use the AI to accomplish a task. If you wanna do the inline writer, then you need to feed the AI with some background for these obscure topics. So let's click that, and you can see right here, there's a limit to how much you can put in here. Like we can't put all this stuff in here. It just, you get about maybe one paragraph or so. So there's a limit to what you can put in. So you wanna put in something that really matters. I'd probably go to either Wikipedia and find something, but there's really not a lot on here. So you go to Google and you look for like a featured snippet because that's the featured snippets are usually, they're short, they're sweet, they're to the point and they're correct. So let's take this and let's put that in as the background. We'll leave everything else the same, creativity one, length at 80. And then what we can do is we can delete all this nonsense and we can put in our question, make that an H2 and then we'll just Click right for me. A Seowe Nagi throw is a technique in judo that involves throwing an opponent with your body weight while on your knees. Look at that. It's commonly known as a one-armed or shoulder throw. So it, that's from the background here, a one-armed shoulder throw. Sometimes when you feed the AI some background, it like wakes, this is gonna sound like ludicrous to you, but I've used the AI for hundreds of hours and I'm speaking truth here. It wakes up these neurons. It makes these connections that didn't, that were hard. Like it, it refreshes these memories in the AI's brain. Seeding the AI can help get it on the right track. Now, if you don't like this, you can delete what was written here. And you can say like, in addition, and then have it write a little bit more. It's also called the epons, and that's actually what it's called. I'm not gonna pronounce that, but it's also called that, which means the perfect throw. I don't know if it means the perfect though, but that sounds pretty good to me. All right, so that's one thing you can do. You can feed the AI with some background knowledge to help the inline AI writer. Now that's one way, again, phrases of the toolbox, that's one way to write about these specific things. The next thing you can do is you can see the AI with even more background knowledge. See, when phrase writes in line, it's gonna use what's above it. It only, I think it's 3,000 or 5,000 characters above it. Whatever is above it, phrase is gonna use as its background. So while you can only put so much background in here, you can put even more in here. What I would do for here is find a competitor that's really developed this topic, all right, to feed the AI even more knowledge. So we go to the right research section, and phrase is pulled in the top 20 results, before this video, I found a cool question from a competitor and he really answered it very well. How to perform this particular throw and it's all in here right here. So what we can do is we'll paste in this title. We'll make this an H2. Let's paste the whole thing in. There we go. And then what we can do, this is really cool. If you wanna rewrite this accurately, but in your own words, now what you can do, because the AI, when you click right for me, it's gonna use what's in the background, okay? And it's gonna use the title, and it's also gonna use what's above it to write. So watch this, check this out. Start with a basic collar grip and, so start with a basic collar grip and grab the triceps of the arm being thrown. That's exactly what it said, but this is different now. It's, diff it's phrased different. So it's rewriting this in a way that's more accurate because it's using this to seed its knowledge. So that's the next way you can do it, okay? Learn what the AI knows, seed the AI with some background, and then if you really want to, seed it with even more background from the competitor using the inline option, okay? Now, let's take it a step further, okay? The step further is we can actually re rewrite the competitor's content all at once in batch. So see this little right, right about this button, click it. And we'll get a couple different generations. This is cool, we got three steps. I usually do three generations because then it gives me, if I'm not getting it in three, if I'm not getting what I want in three, then I need to vary up my approach. But usually if I get it in three, it's gonna be one of those. Let's actually take this three way step thing right here. Let's paste this whole thing in. This actually sounds really accurate. Start with a basic collar grip, cross, step right in front of the UK's foot, twist your body around. It says, this will put your opponent on top of your shoulders 
When you do this, make sure you keep your head up and look straight ahead. Also make sure that you maintain good balance with the movement. So you can compare this to what was written by the competitor. A lot of times this is really good stuff. Okay, really good stuff. So that's the, what are we on, four? That's the fourth or third or fourth way to then write about these obscure topics. Take what the competitor's written and make it even better. Now, let me show you a fifth way to, oh, fourth or fifth way to do this. So we can actually take all of this content right here and we're gonna open up another template. Now this is a pretty special template. Go to ARA, click on community, and paragraphs from background, okay? And all of the competitor's content right there, that one, two, three, four paragraphs, we paste it into this background knowledge. It's all in there, okay? All of that's in there. A high level concept, our H1. And then this is our H2. And it's similar to our H1, no big deal. We'll run template. Now watch this. This is a special template I made that's gonna rewrite the competitor's content. It might take three generations, all right? But usually I get magical output from this. Nage is a throw where an attacker throws his or her partner under their shoulders, a powerful throw because it allows the attacker to gain leverage by getting the UK's weight on their shoulders. Okay, awesome. So you can look at that and see if that fits the bill. If that's good output. And this is completely unique compared to the input. I guess here's the input up here. Completely unique, but it's correct, okay? Do those three generations, you'll probably get something really good. Now the next thing you can do, what is this, number six or something like that? It's getting a little ridiculous right now. Let's go back to our community templates, and we're gonna put in paragraphs from, now before, what we did right, just right now was the paragraphs from background, okay? We're gonna do paragraphs from keywords now, a lot of different ways to do this. Higher level concept, how to perform this throw. Subconcept, how to perform this throw. Keywords, now look, this is what you wanna do. Go to the correct way to do this, okay? And put in the most important keywords. So let's put in color grip, UK, tricep. Let's try that, okay? So we did a couple different generations with this. This one has a lot of output, probably a lot of stuff for us to pull from. This talks about it being a technique to perform this throw to uh, toss your opponent onto the ground. It talks about a video. A lot of this stuff is probably good with the video, so if you can do a video, that's gonna help your SEO presence to begin with. I think it's probably pretty hard to create a judo website if you don't demonstrate some of these moves or at least link to other people's YouTube videos and have those on your website. But regardless, this is a f like a fifth or sixth different way that you can then generate content around these keywords to help the AI write relevant content on this obscure topic. So let's recap. First thing you wanna do for these obscure topics is find out what the AI knows. Figure out if it really knows about this topic and you can just have it go to town and start writing or if you need to feed it some background. If you need to feed some background, get some good background that's short and sweet, usually for a featured snippet from Google or something like that. Go to Wikipedia, maybe there's something in there. After you've done that, you can then use the inline writer and see what kind of output you're getting. If you wanna go a little bit further, you can find some competitor's content that was really well written on the particular point, paste that in, and then Phrase will do a look back as it writes to then write even better. If you wanna go even further, what you can do is then go into that research section and you can, in any of these areas, in the question section or in the SERP overview section, there's a write about this button and it will rewrite the competitor's content. And then if you wanna go even further, you can take all of the competitor's content, put it into the paragraphs from background template. It will rewrite that, go for three generations. You might get something really good. And then finally, you can do the other different paragraphs, scratch or facts or keywords, templates, and kind of see what you get. Your mileage will vary on those because it is an obscure topic. Okay, a lot of different ways to skin a cat in this. I hope that was helpful. I hope that showed you all the wonderful things you can do with the AI in Phrase, and that is just scratching the surface. That is just the AI portion of Phrase. Phrase is such a bigger tool than that. Phrase is SEO first, your analytics, your research, your optimization, all that stuff, and AI is just a bonus, a bonus in Phrase. Look, if you don't have Phrase, you're really harming yourself. If you wanna rank higher on Google, you need to get Phrase. Phrase offers a five-day trial for a dollar, one dollar to change your life, one dollar to change the direction of your, your website. In the description below, there's a link. Use the code RankingTactics on checkout to get the best deal you can on the first month. Also, 
if you want to take your phrase subscription to the next level, really level up your game and get to that master level, my course is also in the description below. Definitely check it out. Hope this video helped. Hope there was a lot of value for this. If there was, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, give me a like, whatever you wanna do. Also join the official Phrase Facebook group. Great people, great place to hang out. I can't wait to see you next time. Until then, good luck with your content generation. Talk to you later.